Have you ever wondered how the outboard engines on boats work? Modern outboard engines, similar to engines found in other products such as cars or motorcycles, use fuel combustion to move pistons, which in turn rotate a drive shaft. In the case of an outboard motor, the rotational force applied to the drive shaft is used to spin a propeller. There are two primary technologies that outboard engines use for combustion. Each works differently to achieve the goal of propulsion. Let's take a look at the basic differences. One type is called a four-stroke. The other is called a two-stroke. A stroke is when the piston moves from one end of the cylinder to the other. One type of engine requires four strokes for every combustion, so it's called a four-stroke engine. Another type requires just two strokes for each combustion, so it's called a two-stroke engine. In a four-stroke engine, first, the piston moves down creating a vacuum, and simultaneously, a valve with a spring, operated by a cam, opens, letting in a mixture of air and fuel. This is called the intake stroke. Then the piston moves back up to compress the mixture of air and fuel. This is called the compression stroke. When the piston reaches the top of the cylinder, a spark plug ignites the air-fuel mixture, creating an explosion, which drives the piston down, making its third transit of the cylinder. This is the combustion stroke, or power stroke. And then the fourth and final stroke is when the piston comes up again. The exhaust valve opens, and the spent gas is pushed out into the exhaust manifold. It's called the exhaust stroke. In a conventional carbureted two-stroke engine, as the pistons begin to move up, it compresses the air-fuel mixture in the cylinder and closes off both the intake and exhaust valves. So the first stroke combines the intake and compression functions. When the piston is at the top of the cylinder, the spark plug ignites the fuel-air mixture, and an explosion occurs, pushing the piston down at the beginning of its second stroke. As it recedes, the piston uncovers the exhaust port and the exhaust gases exit into the exhaust manifold and at the same time compresses the air-fuel mixture in the crankcase for the next stroke. Then the process is repeated. All of this means that the natural mechanics of a two-stroke combustion engine generate twice as many power strokes for every two revolutions of the piston. For example, at 2,000 RPM, each cylinder in a two-stroke engine is firing and creating energy 2,000 times. In a four-stroke engine, each cylinder is firing and creating energy 1,000 times, exactly half as often. There are many other differences between two-stroke and four-stroke engines, but the core difference is the number of strokes necessary for combustion. Now the next time you see a boat with an outboard engine, you'll know how it's creating power.